can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm with Sing. Hey man, welcome back to <laughs> this is like normal stuff. Anywho, um, so today, uh, you guys saw from the last video with Sears' car. Uh, we took it down the shop, you did a whole bunch of diagnosing, and the car ran perfect for like a day and a half on some used Vanoss and a used camshaft sensor from the shop. They weren't OEMs, so we went ahead, went to FCP Euro, ordered OEM sensors. Oh, actually, this is a, this is an OE sensor, and that's an OEM sensor. Yeah, that's from BMW, and that is a, from which one? Continental. So, both brands are perfect, both from FCP Euro, both with lifetime warranty, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and replace these two parts on the exhaust side, and uh, hopefully, we should be good. So, uh, moment of truth, right? Guys, look how clean that looks. That looks so good. If this doesn't fix our issue, I don't know what does. We have both gaskets, both brand new. All right, guys, so we just went ahead and replaced both the Vanos, uh, the exhaust one, and then also the camshaft, the exhaust one. So only thing now I want to do is just tape off that sensor right here. Uh, the wires within it is not ripped at all. It's just, I don't know if you guys can see that. The wires aren't ripped. It's just the housing around it. So we're just going to electrical tape that, and we should be good. Oh, all right, let's go. Oh, Chipotle. Do you want more <laughs> No, I just saw your Chipotle drink. Um, How long do you think it's going to last this? It's <laughs> not even like, oh no, we'll see. I hope to God this should fix it. Um, but that is brand new parts for the camshaft exhaust. It's brand new uh, brand new parts for also the Vanos exhaust. So what are we looking at right now? So we're just gonna check the codes, make sure all systems are ready. If we can make it that far, I have full faith this car is good. So we're heading back home. So far so good. So far so good. My heart actually hurts. I bet you your heart hurts, right? Yeah. It's honestly, because it's like a check engine that never leaves us alone. It's just like a nightmare. It literally is a nightmare, like a ton of wise video. I haven't had a break yet. Like, my guy. I feel bad. It's like it's first BMW. My guy, we've spent so much money on a car, but it's all good, though. Hopefully. I mean, the thing is, that whatever it is, dude, it's not a big deal. You pay to play, okay? <laughs> Just know when you buy a BMW, you pay to play. I've been paying so much, I haven't played yet. <laughs> the sun's coming out, that's nice. Um, there's a BMW, it's not the 100K build I wanted to get, but it's a really good deal, it's local, it's messed up, so it's a build. It's definitely a build, so I'm really interested. Um, let's go check it out. Hopefully, we might be picking up a car today in this video. Completely, you know, random. Completely random. I did not expect it. We need to go drive. So I figured while we're driving to test the car. And pick up a car. Or just buy a car. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the BMW. It's, it's just, it's just. Another just, day in the neighborhood. It's April you know? 6th, yeah, you know? it's April 6th. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, so what the hell? All of a sudden it's like super sunny. That, that's a good sign of checking out a new car today. <laughs> Pop the trunk, bro. And it's beautiful all of a sudden. <laughs> Dude, it was raining like crazy, you know? What the hell? If it's possible, it's possible. If it's plausible, it's plausible. If it's simonatical, it's simonatical. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, <laughs> let's, just, let's just go uh, and hope for the best and see if he'll accept some Venmo. If not, um, we're going to have to see if we can borrow some money from this guy. But, it's uh, all good. You know what I'm saying? You pay to play. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> but I'll, I'll Venmo him the money. Right now, all the Bank of Americas are closed for some reason, so that kind of sucks. But anywho, head down to the guy. He's 24 minutes away. Let's not keep him waiting. Let's check out the car at least. Let's see if the car is even worth the money. So, I'll give you guys hints when we're actually there. We are approaching it. Oh my God, it's nerve wracking. I think the car is in the garage. I think she's gonna open up the garage. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted, but uh, I don't wanna show her house. Damn, I wish it was outside. Why is she parking inside? It's a female? Ah, it's probably because it's a project car. All right, let's check it out. Guys, we just picked up a 650i. This is like the holy grail for the six years. I've never owned a six series, but check that out. Convertible. I know it's not the best having a convertible that's fully blacked out, black on black. I'm gonna show you guys when we get to the shop. Front end is red. Front end is red. That, that's the trade off. But you know, hashtag save BMW. So, so pulling up to the shop. Okay, yeah, Jonathan's whip and uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So guys, I'm really excited. A 650i, I've never had it on the channel. It's gonna be a completely new experience. I've never dealt with anything to do with this car ever. I don't even have a friend that owns this car. You actually drove it, Yeah. but that's it. Yeah. And had a blow head gas. Yeah. Mint. So <laughs> hope to God this one doesn't have a blow head gas. It won't start, but I'm hoping it's just some, maybe the battery, it's a V8, so I may need a lot of charge. We'll see. Yeah. 
for today, I just want to get the car here and I want to get it coronavirus free. So we're going to get the car over here, just detail it, clean it up, make sure it's like safe to be in. Uh, because obviously we don't know these people that we just purchased the car from. I've been using the, the swabs and I've been just pretty much swabbing everything that I touched on the car. So we're going to hopefully get it detailed, get it cleaned up with Jonathan, make it look as good as possible, and then start taking it apart. And then hopefully in the next video, we'll get it on the lift and see what's going on with the car. Anywho, very excited. So uh, we'll keep you guys posted when the car gets here. Guys, the car just got here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tow truck cannot find our shop. He literally drove around this area like 10 times. So what we got in here is a 650i. I wanna go full straight pipe on this car. V8 convertible. It's the summertime, guys. I kinda wanna enjoy this it's car a little bit. It, it, it's gonna be summer, you know? <laughs> this rear window actually drops down. Kinda like, honestly, like, okay, low key, it's not a supercar, I know. It's nowhere near a supercar, but, and it's actually, it's not a, you don't even think about it. But, it's a nice sports car. It's a nice sports car, but what I like about it, it has like this window that drop. are you kidding? It has this window that pretty much just drops down. And uh, you can hear the exhaust just from the rear window, which is super sick. And then also the car right now is on a trickle. So hopefully we can try to see how it sounds. Maybe if it turns on, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see if it turns on. I'm really hoping if not, uh, yeah, I really doubt it. I really doubt it, but imagine it turns on, dude. Imagine. Hey, bet money I turn on right now. Okay, calm down. This is on a uh, jump and it's not even, the gauge is not even moving. I'm feeling that there is no power actually going to the rear battery. So I'm gonna try to turn it on. I actually have no hopes because that thing doesn't even look like it's even doing anything to the battery, but just give it a shot. It might be able to turn over. We'll see. Okay. I'm gonna choose. See the, you see the screen? All the light, look at the lights. It, it doesn't look like the battery is even getting jumped. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some research. Uh, there's something up with the battery. So let's go ahead and figure out the battery situation and that might be able to get us to get the car started. Imagine we start the car the same day, dude. That'd be crazy. That'd be insane. So let me go do some research. The battery looks like it's completely shot and it's just not getting any power. It could mean the battery is just completely dead. Yeah, it's literally not even getting any signal. Guys, okay, so I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is just take out the battery at his Sears car and hopefully that should fix our issue. Imagine the car starts up just because of a battery. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. So let's go ahead and take out this battery, throw it in the six series, the six series. <laughs> And uh, hopefully this thing works. It is super sketch. Guys, check out this emblem. When you click in the emblem, the, the key thing actually comes out. That's super sick. So, um, so again, my first six series. So I might even have to do a hidden features video on this because I've never, ever seen or even dealt with this car. I've never seen any, and none of my friends have ever owned this car. Anywho, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this and remove the battery and then remove his and swap it over. Shout out to Sear, you know what I'm saying? We worked on the merch, you know what I'm saying? And we did the intro, shout out to Sear for, you know? <laughs> this guy. Honestly, shout out to Sear. So all the merch is currently on the website down below. It's because of Sear, he helped me, he helped me make the merch. So if you guys wanna support your boy, check out the merch down below. All right, we have battery power. All right, bro. All right. We got battery power. All right, moment of truth, bro. Moment Where's of truth. Where's the key? It's like, you literally. All right, y'all ready? It's not gonna start. I doubt it will. Do you think it's gonna start? No. Imagine, hey, hey, imagine if you guys battery. think it's gonna start, uh, put that in the comments yeah, below. Drop a comment right now, all right? Drop a comment it's right three, now. Three, drop a comment. Two, <laughs> it's not drop a comment. <laughs> drop a comment. One, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Ready? Yeah. Oh. This is what it was doing earlier? I don't know, dude. I uh, see it. I mean, Jonathan is a better mechanic. So, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. That. Okay, just taking out the intake. Oh, I really don't want to take that off. All right. Jason That's enough? Yeah. All right. All right, moment of truth, guys. So, hold this camera real quick. Yeah. About to see. Uh, oh, it could be. It could have no fuel on it. Oh, you spray it? Uh, not yet. <laughs> it's red. I'm going to go ahead and clear the codes and see if anything comes back. That's obvious. So, today's video is sponsored by Carly. Shout out to Carly. I wish it was. Oh. Oh, what the? Is it working? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Mom, get the camera. Does it actually work? Bro! <laughs> no no way. way, dude. I finally have a convertible that works. Let's hopefully get this motor 
dude, the top works. It's worth every penny now. So, oh my god. Okay, so it has seven seven codes for the motor. Seven oh codes. So let's go ahead and clear everything. I'm just gonna clear everything and then restart it and see what codes we get. All right, so I just cleared all the codes, guys. Go ahead and give another shot. <laughs> I don't think I would cause the car to turn up there. This is horn. What, what? <laughs> So I keep getting this code every time I turn it off and turn it back on. So I just have to read into what this code is. And then that might actually help us figure out what's going on with this car because that's it. That's a check engine code that keeps coming back. It could just be an electrical issue. Not really know what that is. Anywho, we're gonna call it a night. It's pretty late. Pretty happy we got the car. We're gonna get into all this tomorrow. We're gonna probably put it up on the lift and take this car apart in the front end. Figure out what's going on with it. So if you guys are wondering out what's going on with this six series, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know down below what you guys possibly think the issue is. The only thing that's been replaced ever since the airbag got deployed is that airbag cable in the rear. So that is the only thing that's been replaced. So anyway, guys, I love y'all so much. Uh, remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one, and uh, we'll figure out what's going on with this car. Peace. Peace out. Peace out, guys. She got me saying, "Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me." With the front end and put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front end and put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.